welcome back guys so in this video i'm going to show you how you can install zorin os 6 in dual boot with windows 10 or 11 so let's get started so first go to this uh, website zorinos.com this is the first link you will see and uh, the website is really good and well designed there are a lot of animations and you can see zorin is one of the most popular os linux distribution out there and uh, many people do love it because of its ui design and it runs on almost any computer so new or old it works on all zorin os has both paid version and free version so the pro version has extra customization features but you can also go ahead and download the core version which is standard for the current cpus and the light version is for really old cpus like 10 or 15 years older so i'm going to go for the core version and i suggest you do the same unless you have a really old pc and the download will start and i will suggest you to use an external download manager for better speeds so once the download is finished we need to create partition for the uh, os installation so search for partition and open up this app called the program called create and edit partition so i already have a 50 gb partition made and have another os installed on it so i'm going to delete it and then create so you can if you do not have you can just uh, click on your d drive and click shrink and you can choose whatever size you want uh, make sure it's above 15 GB at least so mine is 50 GB and it already has an OS so I'm going to delete it and then I'm going to create a new volume so create new volume and next next and this is how you create a new partition We also have to find out the partition scheme of our storage so right click on disk 0 and then in properties and under the volume tab you can see the partition scheme so mine is gpt so make sure you note down yours as well we will need it later so now we need a ap application called rufus to make a bootable usb drive so open up the software and select the ISO file that we have downloaded. This is Zorin OS ISO and in the partition scheme I will select GPT and then leave everything as default and start the process. Click on yes. It will start the formatting and burning the ISO file in the USB once the process is complete we need to restart our device into the BIOS so restart and in my HP laptop I will press escape button to enter the BIOS options and pressing the F9 button I will go into the boot device options And here I will select my USB drive and you will see this option it will by default select the try version try Zorin OS and it will show you the boot screen with the Zorin OS logo you will do some checks and configurations and you will soon see the uh, installation process It will ask you to choose your language and you have to install choose install if you want to take a quick look around you can also select the try version so you do not have to install it but we will we are going to install it so after you select your language click on next 
is asking for keyboard layout you can also connect it to the Wi-Fi but we do not need it right now so going to skip and here it's asking me if I want to enroll in the program I'm going to opt out of any anonymous data and here we need to select something else because we want to dual boot so we need to install it on our specific hard disk partition that we created so it will take its time to load all the partitions you can use the mouse uh, the roller to scroll down or in the edge of the menu here you can see our 50 GB so right now it is an NTFS so we need to like you can see it's not installing it's asking me to create a root my like a root partition we need to format this partition at xt4 and also mount it as a root so click on the minus sign and then click on logical and location should be end of the space and the mount should be just the, fr the first option it is the root one and after it's done it's going to format it as root and xt4 so remember to do that once it's done it's been automatically selected we can just go ahead and install the Zorin OS let's click on install now and the installation will begin here you need to select your region and you need to create a username and password so I'm quickly going to do that then click on continue and this is the installation screen it is going to take some time and after this it's going to ask you to restart so click on restart and it will ask you to uh, remove the installation medium so remove your pen drive and hit enter and you can restart into the the Zorin OS bootloader or else you need to click on your uh, BIOS key again and boot into the same BIOS option like for me it's the same you need to go to F9 and here you need to select Ubuntu but that is the Linux version and then go to Zorin because uh, there is a chance that it will not automatically boot into the Zorin OS bootloader so use the BIOS option again and boot into the Zorin and then you can set up with the real installation it is showing you the highlights of the software so this is the Zorin OS we have successfully installed it on our partition so let's dive in into the more of the features so this is the wallpaper option so the wallpaper option the default wallpaper actually changes according to the theme or the time if it's in dawn or dusk it changes automatically uh, and there are some beautiful collection of wallpapers next we go into the settings we have a lot of settings and options you can see how similar it looks to windows so it is a really well known Zorin OS for the combination of windows and mac so it takes inspiration from both the wi-fi is working you can see the bluetooth is also working very fine and the performance is really smooth no stutters or lags and i'm seeing a lot of different and cool options so there are no limitations and you can really use it as your daily driver without any issues uh, Zorin is really tried and tested and this is the sixth version of it and uh, it's been used by many as their uh, default Linux distribution here you can also set the sensitivity for the mouse and trackpad so really advanced options as well and using this uh, shortcut keys you can actually uh, create a lot of different shortcuts for different applications and also open up uh, take screenshot open up different programs 
so you can assign different values to different uh, keys so a lot of different options you can go ahead and explore it You can see this very noise it shows my cpu model and the integrated graphics i5 6 gen and hd 520 graphics and 8 gb of ram and it's running really smooth you can see these are the categories the apps are by default uh, divided into you can see some games some light games linux is really not meant for gaming it's just classic games and all the video editing there is also a firefox web browser pre-installed and you can have the photoshop uh, alternative the gnu the LibreOffice for the microsoft office alternative and all of those apps are actually pre-installed you can see the office apps and this is the browser it took a little bit of time um, but it do does work and looks pretty it's uh, different than I imagined, but it's fine. This is the def default office application, and your usual options. You can see the VLC is also installed. And if you want to play MQB files, you have to play it through VLC, or otherwise, the default media player does not support it. This is a software channel. You can, if you have any drivers needed, it will show up here. So you won't have any issues regarding the sound or Wi-Fi. This is their partition creator like we have for the windows. You can also edit and create partitions using this software as well. And it looks really good. The design of the uh, this windows uh, pretty uh, good looking with the round edge edges. You have the minimize and maximize uh, key, uh, the icon as well on the top right. I think I'm really liking the UI design. It's much better than anything else. This is the store. And right now it's not working, but it will it does require a little bit of update. So if you restart or try to up forcefully update it, it will work. But you can always install the applications through terminal. So this is the Azorin appearance can use it to fully customize the outlook of the uh, whole UI right now you can see it's like windows but it has this, a square list look but now you can see it all round edges so if you like this look you can stick with it you have this usual shortcuts in the bottom this one is for the Mac OS and more people most people prefer this one the icons all the shortcuts are in the middle and the animation also looks very similar to the mic os but still it's not very similar and it has a its own unique uh, take on it and the last one is uh, it's not working for me i don't know what is for but i'm not going to bother using it seems like the icons will be on the left and right side maybe a, a restart will fix it but and you can see in the, if you buy the pro version you will have this extra four uh, settings as well you have your dark mode and light mode this is the dark mode you can see the applications and here you can schedule the dark mode and light mode so this is also really good you can choose the accent colors Right now it's blue, now it's green. It's, it looks really good and kind of like this is the jelly mode. Looks very like Android or MIUI. The animations are really slick. You can see the, the go away animation is like Mac OS. It's kind of confused right now because I've changed the modes. But it should work pretty fine after a restart. I'm going to stick up with this uh, round edges the windows look it looks really good and I'm really enjoying this uh, as of now
this is the uh, the terminal window I'm going to try to update the app so we just put in sudo apt update and your password and you should update the directories and database so I think it's done and if you go to the store and now you can see the store has been updated we have this uh, plethora of apps available at your disposal so you can use any of them they are very basic not very uh, resourceful but I think they should be uh, helpful it does take a lot of time for the app to refresh but it does work and you can also use the terminal to install apps so this is the app store I'm glad they have it so make sure you perform this uh, run this command so this was Zorin OS so I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one.